Okay, I'm out here looking at a friend's place. Uh, he's not able to, he's busy doing stuff, so he's not here with me looking at it, but he trusts me. So we get a look at a steam engine. I thought for a little while about uh, purchasing this from him and putting it together and, and selling it actually, um, but I just couldn't quite justify it economically myself. This is a uh, two-cylinder. It was a marine launch is what it is. It's an engine for a small marine launch. And uh, I had looked them up a little bit. These were originally military uh, made. And this one here had um, low time on it originally, but being rusted up, a lot of stuff has had things machined away in the process of taking it apart. So there's a fair amount to put it together. Um, so we have the slide valve has been resurfaced here and I forget what all the details are. It's going to take somebody that is a machinist to deal with this stuff. It's not going to be just a mechanic. And we got minus 40 thousandths, so 40 thousandths is what has been surfaced off of the plate here. I forget where this goes. I was thinking this was the valve, but... Oh, there's two cylinders. That's right, right. That's right. So this... Lots of pieces. Um, yeah. Lots of pieces. It had been passed around Fairbanks quite a few years. It had been found in Ninana, and then it sat in a bank uh, on a, uh, uh, as in a money <laughs> fund bank, not a bank of a river. It was in the river originally, got pulled out. It sat on uh, I remember when I first came to town, you'd go in the First National Bank and on one of the floors in the, where the stairs were going up, uh, you would see this engine sitting there on a stand. Anyway, somebody got a hold of it, used it for a mailbox stand for quite a few years and it really got rusted up then. A friend of mine ended up with it he sold it to another friend who then some swapping trading ended up at a third friend. Uh, in, in all of this, it, got, it did get disassembled, but there was excessive machining to get some of it apart. So it's a matter of making oversized pistons or making a sleeve liner to fit the pistons that are with it. Um, it's gonna be a lot of stuff. It's, it's, uh, the crankshaft is gonna need some shimming to in fact, well, this is the crankshaft right here. Here's, yeah, this is sort of some of the more major pieces, the crankshaft, the bed plate. Um, and it's, it's something that can be put together and can be done. If, if there's somebody that's watching this that's really interested, look in our About section. You find contact information for me, and you can contact me and uh, but you know it's not something that the man is looking to pitch out he'd like to see it done he would prefer you know somebody here in Alaska would be great because that really sh cuts down on the shipping problems like I say I looked at purchasing it from him it just didn't work out for me financially as I could see uh, I thought I'd pick up a little bit of money maybe from YouTube on the whole deal and help out with us but uh, we don't really make much on YouTube you know, it's there's there's a little bit of money there. We can buy, we can buy cake and ice cream for the guys, um, not throughout the month, but like for one week we could buy cake and ice cream for the shop. That's about what we make now per month. Not not the lunch to go with the cake and ice, just the cake and ice cream only. So, um, yeah, yeah. This is our the high pressure piston. This is a high pressure cylinder. And I don't know. Okay, it's capped off on the other end. Believe me, it's 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 here. <laughs> and it's in boxes. And we have the reversing gear. So this is a marine launch engine. It is two cylinder. Um, and it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Um, 
They, a lot of money all put together, functional. Uh, they are a slow sell usually, so it's more somebody that loves it and wants to put it together for their own use would really be the, the neat thing. Um, but anyway, just one of many things we'll put out here. Oh, yeah, and there's a feed water pump. What's... It's a little Worthington duplex. The uh, littlest duplex Worthington ever made. Worthington duplex uh, water pump to feed boiler feed. No boiler. There's no boiler here with it. But um, quite a bit of stuff. Uh, if you wanted to put together a launch and you don't have the money to go buy one from somebody that wants $50,000 for one, it's a pretty good start. <laughs>